Hello, I'm Dr. Todd Lamb, and I'm going to talk a little bit about failed back surgery syndrome. And if you're one of the poor patients who has been told you have a failed back surgery syndrome, you're in a lot of pain, you don't know what to do, somebody's told you you need to have a pain stimulator implanted in you, which I do not want you to do, because I think failed back surgery syndrome diagnosis is not a diagnosis. Failed back surgery syndromes are not syndromes because they haven't found the proper diagnosis specifically to determine what is wrong with you and what surgery you've had that failed and what is the cause. Was the first operation you had the correct one for you? Was the post-operative evaluation done appropriately? Do you have CAT scans and MRIs and standing x-rays done afterwards to be properly assessed? Do you have recurrent disc herniations or a pinched nerve related to collapsed discs? Things that are causing pain. Is your balance off? Is the curve incorrect? There's so many factors that are, are important in, in helping <clears throat> determine the actual diagnosis of your problem. I like to spend a good hour with a new patient. A lot of doctors you'll see won't spend five or 10 minutes, and you know that. I want you to get better, and I want you to get the proper diagnosis and evaluation. I really want someone competent to look at your spine, and I advise you to seek out an expert in spine care and, and, and get all the appropriate tests and have one spend the extra time. And it's worth your money to pay a little extra to have that time spent so that you can be diagnosed and evaluated and get the proper care that you need.